to know what Jerry's life was like when he began this project. Somewhere around the beginning of Fraggle Rock, Jerry suffered the ultimate horror for a parent. He, he lost his daughter Christine after a long excruciating battle with cystic fibrosis. Um, Jerry and Christine adored each other and we can only imagine how Jerry felt when he lost her. He had endured years of pain as she suffered from that disease and the loss of his beloved daughter marked the beginning of Fraggle Rock. And uh, maybe it was through Fraggle that Jerry found ways to use that pain for good. The other big thing that happened to Jerry, if you can get your head around this, is that uh, early in Fraggle Rock, uh, a good thing happened. And word spread amongst us that Jerry had found a new girlfriend. And one weekend, our production had a, a party in a huge park in Toronto. And the word was that, um, that Jan was going to come. And so we got to meet her. And it was immediately clear that Jerry had made a great choice. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, after a while, they married. The actual wedding was followed by an outsized ceremonial wedding on the beach at Cape Cod. And uh, it was conducted by the Right Reverend Richie, <laughs> also known as Richard Hunt. <laughs> and, uh, Jerry and Jan had found the loves of their lives, and uh, that love never stopped, and it still goes on. Mm -hmm. So in a very short space of time, Jerry had experienced the worst and the best. Uh, he began working on Fraggle, surrounded by that pain and that joy, and it had to have been head spinning. Um, it had to also have been a factor in the work that he did there. Uh, I'd like to give you a brief primer in case there are people here who don't know Fraggle Rock in particular. Jerry played Gobo Fraggle. And Gobo was the one with the true heart and the clear eye. He was the stand-up guy, the loyal, dependable, reliable leader of the Fraggles. You're probably here, most of you who know him anyway, because you love Gonzo. I mean, Go Gobo. <laughs> you love Gobo, and so am I, as I adore Gobo. Gobo is more than a, a, a fictional character to me. He's, he's one of the essences of Jerry. He's just this incredibly strong, lovely soul. Yeah, how do you feel about Gonzo? <laughs> 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 home now. <laughs> now, Jerry also played Marjorie the Trash Heap, and I think there will be some clips in here of her, and she was amazing. Uh, this is another part that nobody else could have played, and she was this dotty, doting font of all wisdom in Fraggle Rock, a pile of trash, <laughs> and uh, in spite of all that, she could really rock a song. Oh, yeah. And when that pile of trash, which was kind of rooted to the ground, started to move, it made everybody want to dance. I mean, it was just incredible. So. Uh, this is, uh, I guess I'll go on to the last thing. The architect, Doozer, was the... Uh, <laughs> I've shaken myself badly. <laughs> I'm an idiot in front of all of you. The architect, Doozer, was another one of his characters, and uh, he was the designer of everything that the Doozers did. He was an august, wise leader, something of a parallel to what Gobo was. Um, and, uh, and the last character that he did as a, as a major character was Pa Gord, blustering, 
foolish king of all the gorgs, uh, of, of whom there were only his wife and son left. <laughs> they were oblivious to their impending destruction, or extinction, I should say, and Pa and his queen spent all their time trying to prepare their dunderhead son to take the reins of power. So, uh, here now, Jerry Nelson in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> 